Hi guys! Happy Thursday! It's super cold here. There's no school today, no school tomorrow. Um, it is freezing. Valerie! Hi! Kill yeah! Uh oh! <laughs> yeah, so today is Throw It Out Thursday, so we're kicking your nasty chemicals to the curb. They have got to go. You cannot have them anymore. They're gonna leave. You're gonna have so much more fun making your own. It's freezing here. We are under a crazy blizzard advisory. Hi, hi Christy. And so let me know where you are from um, when you say hi. You can tap the screen at the bottom as many times as you want to show me love that you like what we're talking about. Thanks. Okay, yeah, we're gonna toss those chemicals to the curb. They've got to go. Sadaf, what up? Florida, oh man, I'm so jealous. Oh, North Carolina. Hi, Deb. Hi, Leilani. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Jim. California, Arizona. Oh, I feel like I'm in a pageant, like calling out you guys. Arizona, California, North Carolina. We're in Virginia. Hey, Effie. We're in Virginia. It's freezing. We're supposed to get like two feet of snow. So we've got lots, lots of crafts ready to go, and um, we're just having a good time. We're going to do some sledding. And thanks for you, the boldest. <laughs> so if you're new to my Periscope channel, you can swipe to the right or swipe up if you want to share this with your followers on Twitter, Facebook, um, on Periscope, and it'll be live for 24 hours. So if you miss anything or miss any of the recipes that I share, you can watch the playback and um, you'll also be able to watch it and share it with friends and family and anyone that you want to share it with over on YouTube. So after 24 hours, you can go to YouTube and then you can just type in doTERRA Hillary LeMay, all one word, and you'll be able to see an archive of all of my past Periscopes. So we're gonna just hop right in. I'm gonna shout out to the G who's working right now and who is gonna be super freezing when he comes home. Canada, hey. So today as you heard, oh, Theodore. Oh, hi, Theodore, love you. Can't wait to see you soon. What a cutie bear. Yeah, and it's so fun sharing these recipes and your oils with your children and your family. Hey, from Minnesota getting your family and friends involved. It's just such a great thing and a great opportunity for you to teach them this natural way of living and the older they get when they've grown up with this kind of lifestyle, it's just all they've ever known and they can share it with their friends and family and with their um, friends at school and their teachers and you can do science projects with essential oils and there's so much learning. Um, it's just so much fun. So today we are gonna do, we're gonna dig into three more cleaners. So if you missed my Throw It Out Thursday from last week, you can hop over to YouTube and watch it there. And then um, this will be a great compliment to that. Yeah, sharing is caring. So today we are going to make a wood polish and then we're going to make a um, mold, mildew and toilet spray. And then we're gonna finish up with a carpet deodorizing powder. So hopefully you guys are excited to learn with me. And if you have any questions, you can chat them. If I miss any while I'm doing my demo, then you can um, maybe ask it at the end and hopefully I will be able to answer it then. So let's dive in, you guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so the wood polish um, is safe for all of your wood surfaces. And what I typically do is I'll hop over to, um, Kale, yeah, Kale, yeah, you guys. I'll hop over to Home Goods or um, Bed Bath and Beyond or like any places like Burlington Coat Factory, and they have a lot of cool little things in their kitchen and housewares items. And I got this cool bottle for like three ninety nine um, at Home Goods, and I love this for my wood polish. But you can use any glass bottle that you want. And all we're gonna do is fill it up about two thirds full, so about. Um, two-thirds of a cup of olive oil. You can use fractionated coconut oil or any carrier oil if you prefer, like macadamia oil, apricot oil, avocado oil would be another great one. So all we're gonna do is, you can pour this um, freestyle or I like to use a funnel just because I don't want to waste any. So hopefully you guys can see this pretty clear. So we're gonna just fill it about two-thirds of the way with olive oil. Okay, that's about good. And then we're gonna fill it the rest of the way with plain water. For anyone that just joined us, we're just making some household cleaner swaps so you can toss your nasty chemical filled products to the curb and you can make these new ones. Hey Cricut, you can make these new ones with a few simple ingredients and your essential oils. So we're just gonna fill this about the rest of the way up to the neck with plain water. 
And then for this one, I like to use wild orange. So you're gonna add eight drops of wild orange. And this is one of my favorite essential oils. I use this for anything under the sun and it's pretty affordable. It's about 1050 in your back office um, if you're a wholesale member. So it's super cheap and it's versatile. You can use it for anything. Ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. You just made wood polish. Like that was no time at all. You can't argue that you don't have time to make healthier choices, that takes you no time. It takes you longer to go to Walgreens and buy the nasty stuff than it does to make that. And all you do is just flip it over once or twice and then before you use it, you'll just flip it over again to mix it and you'll just take any microfiber cloth or a washcloth or an old uh, men's t-shirt, something soft, and you just put a, a little bit amount, a little amount onto the cloth you can put the, the um, wood polish onto the surface, but I just prefer to put the polish onto the cloth first, and that way I feel like I can control the amount that's on my um, surfaces. And you'll just go with the grain of the wood and let it sit for about five or 10 minutes and then take a second microfiber cloth or old men's t-shirt or whatever you have um, on hand, like an old washcloth or something, and then you'll just buff it out and it will last you, this will last you over a year. It'll last you a really long time. So we've just made wood polish, and if you missed it, you can catch it on the playback. It's just about two thirds regular um, olive oil, and then about one third water and eight drops of wild orange. Wood polish, yep, awesome. All right, moving on to our next one. We are going to make a mold mildew shower and toilet spray. It's a little bright, I don't know if you could see the label but um, I like to label all of my bottles and sprays with a label maker, and you can get this at Target or Walgreens or um, Amazon. It was about $25. This is a Dymo Letra tag, you can see that there, and you just type in whatever you want and you press print and you click it to cut, and on the back it has a little sticker, and so you can just stick it to um, all of your bottles, and so all of your cleaners are really nicely labeled. And then I'll just take these really cool little sticker sheets that are in your back office for 50 cents, and I'll just make sure that I put um, on my bottles exactly what I've used so when I need to go replace it, I don't have to wonder, I don't have to go back and watch a video, I don't have to go back and look at a blog, it's really easy for me to know what's in my cleaners. So for this, it's super simple. You're going to do um, half vinegar, half water, and then you're going to use Douglas fir, which I love. Douglas fir is woodsy, but um, citrusy. It's got a lemon smell. So whereas if you have white fir, white fir is more of that Christmas tree smell, woodsy, but this Douglas fir has more lemon smell with it and it's just really nice to clean with. And then you're also going to use lemon and eucalyptus and melaleuca. And melaleuca and um, lemon and Douglas fir are all very cleansing and they're fantastic. Um, Eucalyptus is just a personal favorite that I love in the shower, but they're all really cleansing and the properties that they have are going to really help uh, break down the mold and mildew, any mineral stains that you might have like around the toilet bowl. For example, like if you have a guest bathroom and you don't use it that often, um, even though it's clean and you have you cleaned it recently, you might see kind of a pinkish, um, reddish ring around where the water is and that's just the mineral deposits from the water that's just standing there. And if you watched my Periscope on Monday or Tuesday about um, about the Himalayan salt and it being pink, the reason it's pink is because all of those minerals are in there. That's the same reason you get that little pink ring around your toilet. So it doesn't mean you're not clean. It doesn't mean you don't clean your toilet. Um, no one's judging you. This is a judgment-free zone. But um, to get rid of that, those mineral deposits, you can use your citrus oils and then the vinegar and water together are gonna be a powerhouse. If you do have super mold, mildew, um, situation in one of your showers, around your tiles or your tub or your uh, toilet, you can actually just pour a half a cup of baking soda straight into the into the, the, the bowl and you can kind of let it sit there and um, you can add some vinegar and it'll kind of bubble up a little and then you can scrub it with whatever kind of sponge type thing or um, a microfiber pad or a, a sponge of any kind and then you can go back through with this treatment. So we're gonna do the shower mold and mildew spray right now and that is going to be 50-50 vinegar and water. So let me get my funnel, and we're just gonna fill this up halfway with water. And then the rest of the way with vinegar, and that is pretty simple. Pretty simple, doesn't get easier than this. Okay, we're gonna fill it all the way to the neck. 
yeah, I eyeball it. I mean, you guys, like, this is the way I live. I don't have time to be, like, exactly perfect with every little measurement. And it just makes it more simple when you can just eyeball it. Okay, and then we're going to do our oils. So we're going to do um, eight drops of each because this is an eight-ounce bottle. And my rule of thumb is one drop per ounce. So if it's an eight-ounce bottle, eight drops. 16 ounce bottle, 16 drops, super simple. You can do it without vinegar. If you want to use um, peroxide, you can do that. I just don't because I don't want my, I don't want my daughter, um, you know, possibly getting into that, but you can use peroxide instead of vinegar. I find it does not smell vinegary, but if you um, don't want to use peroxide and you still want to use vinegar, but you don't want the vinegar smell, you can always double up on your essential oils. It's just, um, it's just a personal preference, but I don't mind. Yeah, okay, so. Three, four, five, <clears throat> seven, eight. All right, that's the Douglas fir. And if you guys don't have Douglas fir, you need it. It smells so fresh. I just can't get enough. Um, my favorite combination is Douglas fir and grapefruit. You guys, you can make a body wash with just castle soap and water with that. It is so fresh. I like that for hand soap. It's just delicious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lemon. Yes. And eucalyptus. Love this oil. seven eight eucalyptus is being a little temperamental and melaleuca if you guys if you guys just joined us i am making a super simple um, shower spray shower mold mildew toilet spray it's universal you can use it for everything it's so great and that's it, you guys. And I get these bottles from Aroma Tools. I found that they're super expensive. Um, what drops for body wash? Um, just one drop per ounce of your essential oil. So if it's a four ounce bottle, four drops of Douglas fir, four drops of grapefruit, and then fill it up halfway with castle soap and halfway with water, and then you're good for body wash. So, um, but I love um, getting these bottles from Aroma Tools. You can go in with a friend or someone else on your oil team and you can save shipping, but you can get these really cheap. I think this was like 75 cents. Whereas if you try to get them on Amazon, they just charge you an arm and a leg. I don't know why, um, but this is super great. You just flip it over once and there you go. You have your tub, tile, uh, shower, you've got your bathroom toilet spray and it's awesome. So if you have any really rough type of um, stains going on again, you can just spray it and leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes and then come back, spray it again and then wipe it down or scrub it and you'll be good on that one. All right, and then our last recipe. Yeah, they're really great. I, I buy them uh, in bulk. I usually buy a dozen at a time because I just go through them. I love to share them with friends. I love to give them as gifts. I just love them and I can never have enough bottles. So the last recipe you're gonna do, oh, thanks Leilani. Yeah, it's time to throw it out. Throw it out Thursday. They have got to go, they're expensive. I made this for like 50 cents. This costs less than 50 cents to make. And the same with the wood polish. Um, you're just paying for the cost of the oil per drop. And like wild orange is like 0 0.04 cents a drop. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's it's super cheap. Um, you can't go wrong. And it's fun to make your own. And you can get your kids involved. Olivia loves helping me. She loves playing with the funnel and pouring everything. And if she were awake right now, she'd be playing with me. So it's something we love to do together. It smells better and it is safer, yeah. Um, all right, so our last one is we are going to make a carpet refresher powder. And so this is something really fun and versatile. And um, I got this recipe from the doTERRA blog, but it's also in the Essential Life book. And if you guys don't have the Essential Life book, I highly recommend it. It is my constant source of inspiration. If you're not on my essential oil team and you want mentoring and you want to get some of these oils into your own house, I would love to do that. I would love to help you. And this book will be free for anyone who enrolls with me in 2016. If you do have this book and you're following along on page 349, you can see um, some of the recipes, the wood polish and the carpet fresher powder. And then on page 351, you can see the mold and mildew spray. Yeah, this book is fantastic. And for any of you watching that are on my oil team already, if you share the love of essential oils with anyone and they enroll this year, then you'll also get a book free as well. So every time you share oils with someone, you'll get a book free and you can you can share it with them or you can keep it for yourself. So the refresher powder mentoring really is crucial. You need, you know, someone that is using their oils on a regular basis that can help and show you. And um, if you're not using your oils, then something's going on because 
there's no reason you can't use them every day, all day. And um, if you have an oil in your collection, for example, that you don't ever use, just shoot me an email or a message on Instagram or Facebook or an email and let me know because I'd love to show you all the great ways you can be using that oil and you've paid for it and it's just sitting in your cabinet and you're not doing anything with it. So I would love to help you. Um, even if you're already enrolled and you're working with someone else, I'd be happy to help you with any questions. So this is a little shaker bottle. I got this from the dollar store. Like seriously, the dollar store. It was in the um, little houseware section. You can also, um, oh, I got the shirt on Etsy. You can just go to Etsy and um, look up um, Kale shirt. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I love their little Etsy shop. I don't remember the name. Hi, Robin. I don't remember the name of the shop, but they have really cute clothes there, really cute stuff. Um, so yeah, I got this from the dollar store, but if you don't have one, you can actually use an old um, Parmesan cheese grater container or old spice containers that have little holes at the top. So I love this. This holds about one cup. And so what we're going to do for this recipe is we're just going to add one cup of baking soda to a mixing bowl. If you just join us, we're making carpet fresher powder. You can also use this on your mattress when you change the sheets once a week. Um, I like to do it just for good measure. Um, but yeah, you can use a mason jar and you can just pop holes in the top. Yeah. So one cup of baking soda and then 10 drops each. And this is just my, um, my personal favorite blend, but you can do whatever you like. I like peppermint. Where is my peppermint? Oh, okay. Peppermint's here. I like peppermint and eucalyptus and lemon. This is one of my favorite um, diffuser blends to diffuse in the house. It just makes my house smell really fresh. I really like the way this combination smells. Um, so, but use whatever. You can use lavender. You can use Purify. You can use On Guard. You can use any holiday scent um, to scent your carpet. And what I do is I just put the oils into the baking soda, and then you just uh, funnel it into here, and then you just shake it over your carpet and let it sit for about 10 or 20 minutes while you um, maybe spray your showers or you clean out another area of the house or you're um, taking the trash out or taking the sheets off the bed or whatever. After you take the sheets off the bed, you can just um, pour this over, just shake it over your bed and you can have a different blend for your bed. Like if you really like wild orange and cedar wood like we do, or if you really like lavender, you can just do um, a second shaker for your bed if you like a certain smell for your bedroom and then this one for the rest of your carpeted areas and then you just shake it over it and wait 10 or 20 minutes however long yeah uh, lemongrass and cypress that sounds like a really delicious combo i love cypress and i love lemongrass so i'll have to try that so we're just going to add our oils we're going to do 10 drops each peppermint lemon Let's eyeball it. About 10. It's whatever. This is all just for good measure. Eucalyptus does not want to cooperate today. Okay, that's about 10. It's all good. So you just mix it, and this is just really nice because the baking soda is going to absorb all those odors and any um, outdoor smells, or you know maybe if you have pets and they've tracked in some mud or something like that, or um, you've got kids and they spilled something, or whatever, you know you just want to freshen up the home, but you don't want to use chemicals or um, any of those nasty things. So here it's just baking soda and the essential oil, and then we're going to just funnel it into the container right here. It's not an exact science, it's just, it's just all good. Hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah, and it, it's so easy and fun. You can definitely get the kids involved. Um, I, I know that uh, so many of the people on my essential oil team love helping um, share these oils with their friends and family and it's so much fun you know invite your friends over when your lrp order arrives have a great time never oil never open your oils alone is one thing our um, presidential blue diamond leader always says she says you know oils are are so fun and they're meant to be shared never open your oils alone because it, it brings so much joy when you smell them and you play with them and you get to hold them and um, you can talk to your friends and they can learn about essential oils with you and it's just such a fun time and i really love it I love sharing it with my friends and family. I love sharing it with my daughter. I love sharing it with 
with friends that I've never even met before. Like on Instagram, I love sharing my fun recipes with you guys. And it's just really a, a cool hobby and it's something you can feel good about doing. A little more, just filling this guy up all the way. There we go. Okay. And we'll just clean up a little. All right, and then you just put your shaker top on top. And as you can see, it just comes out really nice like that. And you can just, thank you. And you can just um, cover your, your, your carpeted areas and you can cover your, um, your mattress and freshen up and you know, tag me on Instagram if you try any of these recipes. I would love to see what you're making. I would love to see the flavor combinations that you're trying out. Get your kids involved. If you need support, you can always reach out to me. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do another scope on our next uh, throw it out Thursday on the dishwasher packets. You know, those little dishwasher packets that are expensive and they're colored with green and blue and who knows what's in there. So um, I want to show you those and I do my stainless steel spray and maybe my mouthwash spray that I love. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me for support. Um, I, I love sharing and I hope that you will get some essential oils and that this inspired you to throw it out Thursday, kick those nasty chemicals to the curb. Get them gone and have fun and make your own. So I hope you guys have a safe weekend. If you are getting snow, be careful. Please don't go out if you don't need to. Stay inside. Play with your essential oils. Be a mad scientist and have an awesome time. I love you guys. Can't wait to see you next time. Have an awesome weekend. Bye.